When I first got to college, my advisor handed me a sheet. It had a list of all my classes on it and the number of my new dorm. A dorm is basically a room the size of your bathtub, but you have to share it with someone. And you don't even get to choose who it is. You just find out on the first day. So it was day one and I was just searching the halls looking for dorm 26B. Hi, are you in dorm 31B? Yes, then I think you're my new roommate. Hi, yay! <laughs> Everyone was just like meeting their new roommates. Kind of got me excited to meet my new roommate. I mean, we're gonna be stuck together for eight months. I'm sure we'll become like best friends. I found 26B. It didn't look like she was there yet. It was your standard bathtub, you know, two twin beds, two tiny desks, a little mini refrigerator. I'm finally out on my own. I feel like a real college student now. <laughs> Guess I have first choice of the beds. Hmm. My new bed. Man, I think I'm going to be happy here. All of a sudden I hear the door just kind of squeak open. Is this my new roommate? Uh, hi. I'm Laddie. It's nice to meet you. Oh cool, is this our room? I was gonna sleep. It's really cool that I finally get my own bed. Yeah, I was gonna, that was gonna be my- I could see myself getting comfortable here. I'll just go on this bed. When I lived in Texas, I had to live in a barn and like my dad wouldn't let me have a real bed and I was just like, dad, I, I don't want to sleep on hay anymore. But he was like, no. So Laddie was talkative. All right, Elle, calm down. She's probably just really excited. It is the first day. Get to know her a little bit. So Laddie, right? Do you have any pets? I have a horse. Cool. My parents have a dog. And oh, that's nice. I have a horse. Horses are great. Have you ever seen a horse pee? She kind of just kept talking all day. Maybe by the morning she'll be calmed down. <sighs> Good morning. You're in my bed. I thought maybe you'd want to have cereal together. You're in my bed. So Laddie was starting to just get on my nerves. Like it's nice she wanted to have cereal with me, but the girl was three inches away from my face. It was almost eight in the morning, so my first class was about to start. I never thought I'd be looking forward to school. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> <gasps> You're in my class? She's in my class. I can't seem to get away from this girl. And it got worse. I had a pet bug once. I found him in the lake. And worse. I have an Uncle Charlie and he gets really mad, but it's really fun. And I really hate him now. So I kind of killed him. And worse. Riding a horse when it has to pee is the worst. Cause you're like riding and then it just stops all of a sudden and it kicks you off and it just pees. Hey, uh, <laughs> can you like try to be quiet? Like this? No. Like this? N no. Like this? Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay! <sighs> Finally. At least I'll be able to get some actual sleep tonight. I can't take it anymore. The next day I decided I was gonna talk to her. Anyway, so when I had a horse- uh Laddie, you really know how to talk a, a lot. Thanks. No, I'm saying it's, it's too much. Like, stop, okay? Okay. Really? Yeah, I'll just, um. Laddie, great. I made my roommate cry in class. Awesome! I have to live with this girl for the next six months. I can't have her hate me now. Do you want to tell me more about your horse? Back in Texas, I used to have a horse. You kind of look like a horse. But anyway... You know, I you could go see your advisor about switching your roommate. Really? I know what the girl in class said, but I definitely don't want to hurt her feelings. I can't switch my roommate. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to talk about switching my roommate. Don't touch my hat. 
She gave me all this paperwork to fill out about why I want to switch my roommate, what the issue is, blah, blah, blah. My advisor said before I go through with it, she encourages me to give her one more chance. Back when I was in Texas, I had like 27 cousins, but out of all 27, I had- But I couldn't. Enough! Can you like, talk about something else? Should I talk about a horse again? Laddie? I'm sick of hearing about your horse. I'm sick of hearing about your uncle. And I'm so sick of hearing about dumb old Texas. What did you just say? Texas is dumb? Get out. What? Get out! Whoa, what are you and doing? Don't you ever come back. Um. Yeah. So she somehow managed to get annoyed with me and kick me out. I don't know. Later on, I think we both realized that like all of my stuff was in there. So I came back and we decided to talk things out. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Texas isn't dumb. Listen, Elle, I like you, but I don't think I want to live with you anymore. What? It's not you. It's me. Yeah, it is. I just feel like I need some space. Space? She apparently spoke with her advisor while I was gone, filled out the forms, and asked to be switched roommates immediately. She did that on me. Whatever. At least I didn't have to say it. Laddie and I, she says hi to me every now and then. When she starts talking too much, I kind of just, I walk away. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Comment down below on my video telling me what you would have done. She's making a video about her being my roommate, so please go check that out. Before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and that shiny bell. Then you'll never have to miss a cartoon ever again. And everything will be better in your life. Okay, bye.